So this is my skin model and I used it, uh, I made it out of Play-Doh and I also used a Rubik's Cube to help get the shape of a cube so I just surrounded the Play-Doh in it. So um, the skin has three different layers, the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. So the first layer of the skin is the epidermis and within the epidermis there are three more layers. So the first layer is the dead outer layer, then it's the middle layer and then it's the black inner layer. And so the main function of the epidermis is to provide mechanical pre protection, to prevent bacterial entry, and to reduce water loss. And so the epidermis here is yellow. So the next layer of skin is the um, dermis, which is red. And it includes uh, blood capillaries, um, sweat the eccrine sweat, sweat gland, erector pili muscle, nerve fibers, sebaceous glands, hair, hair follicles, recep and receptors. So the function of hair is to um, regulate temperature and then the function of the sweat gland is to secrete sweat as well as um, open, uh, the, open the pores to the surface. And then the function of the, oh, so the sweat glands are dark green and the uh, hair is orange. And then, so the next thing, the uh, nerve fibers, which is light green, their function is to activate muscles and glands and relay messages from the sensory cells to the brain. The next thing is the sebaceous glands, which is pink. And their function is to secrete oily substances. And so they produce oil to keep hair follicles free from dust and bacteria and to help to waterproof the skin. Finally, there's the erector pili muscle. And the function of that is to control the hair movement for temperature regulation. The last layer of skin is the hypodermis, which is dark blue and the little purple dots are the adipose tissues. I just put those on there because the area looked a little blank, empty. Um, so the hypodermis, which is also referred to as the subcutaneous fat, um, its function is to store fat as well as act as an insulator of heat.